Wow, what a, what a really fun, great women's college basketball game. Um, I thought the crowd was terrific. I thought both teams showed up to play. I thought it was entertaining for the fans and, and the fans on TV. <laughs> um, that was Brittany Boyd. <laughs> Still entertaining, even after she's gone. Um, I, and I just, I'm really proud of our team. I mean, I thought there were gutty stops. I thought there were big plays. I mean, in an overtime game against a terrific team like Nebraska, we needed every ounce of it to win the game. Um, you know, I've said it over and over that, that we have a young group. Um, and I'm just excited to be on the ride with them. Um, they frustrate me sometimes. Um, but the growth that we see in the locker room and we see in practice and we see out here sometimes is, is the most important thing to me. Um, and even if that's not smooth all the time, I'll take it. Um, and I just, I thought, the veterans, when I say veterans, I mean sophomores and, and juniors, uh, stepped up and, and, and just created a mentality that we weren't going to lose the game. And that allows people like Christine and AT just to make plays. Um, and I just, it's a really good win from, for us and one that we'll build off of. Um, Nebraska's really, really good. Uh, you know, Terrio is as great of a sort of orchestrator as you're going to find. She finds the right thing. And you know, obviously, we knew Natalie was going to come in here looking to knock down shots, and she did her part. So great college basketball game. We're really fortunate to win. And, I'm just excited to, to keep working with this with this team that I love most of the time. <laughs> Christine, how's your done what happened today? Um it was just a cramp, so <laughs> I'm fine. Get some bananas. Yeah. I tried to drink a little water and I was good. Um, well, first of all, she's a terrific player. I've ex you know, had some experiences with her at USA Basketball. She's watching our own film. She's had a great start to her career. But you know, one thing about um, Christine and our team that I like, I think they really like challenges. So, so I, did, I did do a little personal challenging saying, hey, you know, we need to make her night tough. Um, obviously, she wasn't the only focal point, but, but we didn't want her to get any easy looks um, because she's so good finishing around the basket when she has easy looks. So I thought that the team really committed to not letting her have anything um, easy. Um, you know, Christine and her teammates did it. Did a great job on her, and I think making her work on the other end is a factor as well, because then you're a little, you know, more tired to finish. So um, she's a great player. Um, they went to other people tonight, um, and, and that was uh, that was good for us. Christine, to follow up on that question, um, it seemed like you, you know you, you talked about a couple games ago about working on your defense, mm -hmm. and it seemed like you were just as excited about playing defense today. Like I remember a big yell early mm -hmm. on. Yeah, um, I thought that, well, we coach and like practice was just mainly on defense and guarding and be, being able to keep someone in front of you and just post defense and not letting, we were, well, our main focus point was Jessica, not letting her get easy touches. And I felt like we did that. And with, like with the way our defense is set up, it's just everyone has to play a huge part in it. And if you don't do your part, then it's evident that we didn't do our job. Are you kind of getting to the point where do you, do you kind of relish having the ball at the, the end of the game? Is that something you, you embrace? Yeah, I really like I feel. I like it. I, <laughs> um, I have a lot of confidence in my team in my team getting the ball to where it needs to be. And I feel like if there's like a teammate that big three and just like her energy and Kayla's energy and everyone else's energy on our team just brings us like just bring like helps me like try to elevate my game and just um, contribute. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, yeah, we're going back there next year, so that'll be um, fun. You know, we, we do these home and homes. We obviously wanted to help them get Natalie and um, Darian Washington home, and we thought that would be a good game for us to go out there next year. I'm always thinking with non-conference about the experience, like what are we trying to get out of it? And I think next year, we wanted them at home first, um, but I think going out there to a huge crowd next year will be something that'll be a great experience for us. Although our crowd did their part today too. That was, was so that when we needed one stop at the end, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> Brittany Boyd's distracting the press conference. Uh, that one, when we needed one stop at the end of the game, it was like so loud. It was, it was great. Yeah, yeah. I'll get, I'll get chills. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was, it was intense. It was a good atmosphere. So I was, I was loving it. How much does it help you guys to just kind of get like an overtime kind of experience early on in the season? Particularly like for the first game, having your first overtime game, getting to win. How much does that kind of help you out and get that experience early in the season? All my um, the cramps didn't go away, so I was, like, <laughs> I was praying. I was like, I need to, I need to, I need to come and build. I'm big, <laughs> so um, I was just trying to focus on everything but my cramps, and I feel like just like Coach Charman just telling me like. You need, to, you need to make these free throws. You need to make a big play. And I was like, okay, I got you. Like, I'm not, I don't like losing. So I was just really focusing on that St. Mary's game on the last play, the defensive end. And I was like, I can't, we can't lose. We can't lose. So that's my, that was my mindset. So you were building parents pretty much the whole ever since you came back here. Basically. Like, that's what it was on that, from the that cramps, one play on, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think that says about her? Yeah, he's a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lamborghini. Um, you know, you asked about the, the the end of game situations. I mean, one thing for me, obviously coming into the season, I would say probably over the last two years, it was going to Boyd or it was going to Gray at the end of the game. You know, and so coming in, we we've had to say, okay, who, who can make plays? Who's comfortable? And we just had a close scrimmage against Gonzaga, and it was close. You know, we were doing some end situations, and um, I could tell right then. That, that Christine was going to be better the bigger that the moment was, no question about it. I also think we've had a lot of people step up. I mean, Courtney made a huge play at the end of Louisville when it was the, the, at the end, obviously, AT, Kayla, everybody seems comfortable, but that's something you don't always know. No matter how talented someone is, you don't know what their like, makeup is um, in critical situations. And, and so I thought, I thought the assistants were great all game. The scout was good, but I, I could hear Charmin. I didn't say anything. I could hear Charmin saying, you know, when, when they looked at the clock and Christine was cramping up and had the two big free throws, um, you know, at the end there, she was like, you can make these, cramp or not. Cramp. She was real calm. And we just know Christine's someone that we can put in big situations and she can make plays. Um, but I also think everyone kind of, the whole demeanor of the team was really good down the stretch. I would love to have won it long before overtime. <laughs> I would love to, you know, not have it be close. But any time with this group that you have situations that we can look back on, that's really helpful. You know, any time we can say, okay, we've been here. We've been, you know, in an overtime game. We can do this. It's just how I've said, look, we lost a game by one point last week. I've said them a number of times in practice. We, we can't, we can't, be a, not focused right now because we lost the game by one. So any learning experiences we have, we have to use them to get better because of, of our, you know, just being less experienced in some teams. Okay, you hit a couple of good shots. You had a big line jumper three. in the in regulation and then also a big three mm -hmm. uh, in, in overtime. Uh, so maybe talk about those, those shots or, or maybe even generally how this team just seems to just whoever has the ball can shoot. It doesn't seem to have the uh, need to, to go to a specific player. I think one thing that we do really well is like we we know who's hot and who is able to hit the hit this open shot. Um, I mean, it was literally like we were supposed to, we were supposed to run a play to the opposite side, but Gabby came down. And she saw that I was uh, I guess open a little bit, so she hit it to me and said, "Knock it down." Like she literally like I literally said that to me, and I just tr I trusted her. I was like, "Yeah, for sure, I knocked it down." But um, I mean, we just we just we just we trust each other. We know who's hot, like I said, and uh, it just happened to fall today. And I had a lot of candy today, so I was hyped up. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> I will say, just to talk about Gabby for a second, I, I could not be more proud of her. I, I mean, her game, I mean, shots weren't falling. I'm not worried about that. You know, she's going to knock down shots. But I, I just, her growth, I mean, her defense has been tremendous. She's controlling the game. She's getting the ball where it needs to go. Huge block, um, you know, steals, yeah. rebounds, assists. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I just, I thought Gabby was a huge, huge factor in the game. Yeah, I also think Gabby makes us, like, like seeing her play so hard on defense makes the whole team want to play hard. And so when she's telling me to switch, I'm like, okay, yeah. I got I got to switch. <laughs> I need to do this for her because she brings so much energy and I feel like she stepped up in so like so like stuff that other people can't see her energy, her leadership, everything she's done. Her st five steals, nine steals, like she's giving us the ball like I wouldn't get the ball without my teammates and for example, Gabby nine assists five steals like that's crazy I no one like you don't really know that that's not on this that's not like um, broadcast and I feel like she just brings so much energy to the game and 
her on defense, her blocks, her steals, her way she plays defense makes the other people on our team just rise up to the occasion. Anything else?